I'm Gary Firestein. Uh, I'm a rheumatologist from UC San Diego and, and the Dean and Associate Vice Chancellor of Translational Medicine at the University. The electronic media are clearly changing the dynamics of textbooks, uh, journals, and the way we receive and process information. Uh, the publishing industry and textbooks are going to have to adapt to this in order to provide content that is either available online or available on tablets or perhaps even smartphones in a way that is easy to access, provides the key pieces of information. Um, and, and perhaps in some cases in more truncated forms, uh, but still not lose the key elements that provide the depth and breadth of a textbook, for example. So this is the ninth edition of the Kelly Textbook of Rheumatology. And for over 30 years, it has essentially been the Bible for our specialty. Uh, it has evolved gradually over the years, and this edition in particular has been one of change. We've had several of our esteemed colleagues uh, retire, and we've added outstanding expertise to our, edit to our uh, uh, list of editors, in particular Shireen Gabriel uh, and Jim O'Dell, uh, each of whom bring tremendous uh, clinical uh, and epidemiology and outcome research uh, background to, uh, to the editorial staff. If you add to that outstanding basic science from Ralph Budd and translational science from Ian McGuinness, we really have a broad swath of our specialty that uh, also spans the uh, Atlantic Ocean with editors both in the United States as well as, uh, as in uh, Europe. Other changes uh, include some uh, reorganization of the chapters. There are certain uh, topics that have become, uh, that have, where, where the science has progressed very rapidly and we've expanded those areas, such as in crystal induced diseases. Uh, there are uh, other areas uh, where there are, for instance, uh, you know, new diseases that we're beginning to understand where we've added fresh content. And each edition of the book actually includes about a third uh, new authors uh, to provide a continuous fresh perspective. So it's not the same chapters being recycled over year after year. Uh, we try to bring uh, new faces in and new ideas each with each edition. Uh, the focus of the book initially was on academic rheumatology and bringing science to our specialty. That has really expanded over the decades and various editions. Uh, it still clearly has a bias towards the scientific basis of rheumatology. And as such, uh, uh, fellows in training, uh, residents, medical students, uh, in particular in, uh, or individuals in academia, academia are attracted to, to the book. But in addition, we have now a very uh, broad and intense coverage of the clinical features of disease, cutting edge therapies, uh, and so on, which we think uh, makes it a very attractive book for practicing clinicians as well as for, uh, for academic libraries. Uh, rheumatology is a fascinating field. What draws most of us to it uh, is the fact that the uh, patients that we see and the diseases that we see are often mysteries that no one else can solve. They're complicated, mysterious, and can be devastating. And over the course of the last 10, 20 years, the therapy has improved dramatically. So now, not only do we see all of these fascinating uh, problems, but we actually can do things for it. So I, I think it has become much more attractive uh, in terms of the, you know, the sort of joys of taking care of patients, because rather than following natural history, we can now follow patients and do something about, uh, about their diseases. Um, and uh, it also provides extraordinary opportunities still in, in research because although we've come a long way, there's still considerably further to go.